glasses. I'm tired. My sleeves are bothering me. <laughs> Hello. So while I'm rolling up my sleeves, um, I just want to let you know that this is um, another super casual video. And um, it has to do with my January favorites. So that's going to be fun. I'm going to talk some about my favorite things in January. Okay. Okay. I feel very like pony boy right now. Um, we are going to go and get into my favorites now. Um, once again, I am on my phone. Sorry. I promise. Better videos are coming. <laughs> Just give me a little bit. Give me a little bit. I'm still setting up where I want to film. Anyway, so we're just going to go through this. I'm going to try and group them together in some semblance of an order. Let's see where this goes. So the first thing, I'm just going to get this out of the way. This is actually something that I made for Ella. It is a, like a, it's called a cocoon cardigan or like a shrug or something like that. But you just kind of have to imagine like Ella's like, this goes around the back of Ella's neck and her little arms come out the sides. And um, there's a picture of it up on my Instagram, if you want to go see it. Um, and yeah, I made this, um, I crocheted it, that's what the back looks like, um, just with, uh, I think it was a NP hook. So it was like super big and um, it's quite warm actually. And Ella loves it and I really love it so I wanted to share this with you because I'm quite proud of it. It's the first project I've ever done crocheting so <laughs> I'm really proud of it. So let's get into some um, food items. So the first thing is this. This is a David's tea canister but it does not have David's tea in it. It actually has matcha green tea in it. Ooh. Um, I have been baking with this. I've been putting it in my pancakes. I have been putting it in muffins. I've putting it, been putting it in oatmeal. I've been putting it in cream of wheat, um, or what else is it called? I can't remember what else it's called. Um, I have been making matcha green tea lattes. I love this stuff it is so good it's actually very it's pretty good for you as well it has a lot of antioxidants in it and um the caffeine that is in green tea is actually different than the caffeine that's in coffee it's essentially like a slow release so it wakes you up but it also keeps you awake for longer and then you don't get that crash at the end at least i don't um i absolutely love this and i get mine at bulk barn the next food related item kind of has to go hand in hand with that is my Kate Spade New York tumbler. I got this from Chapters in Ottawa. It has a navy blue normal coffee cup lid. It's just white on the inside. This pattern is um, like books. I don't know if that's better for you to see. Um, and because it's books, of course, I absolutely love it. I love reading, as you all know. Um, and uh, yeah, this has just been just a lifesaver for me on really, really cold days. So let's get into some skincare, body care, makeup sort of things. Um, you will um, probably be seeing all of this almost in a couple videos because um, I'm filming my videos out of order. I really needed to get this up. I don't like understand those lovely, beautiful people who are like, oh my gosh, like I'm running out the door right now. I have like no time to do this. So let me just like get it done. And they have like their hair curled and like perfect makeup and like falsies and all of the jewelry that they own and like their best clothes on. And I'm just like sitting here in a Lion King t-shirt with my glasses on and no makeup looking like a drowned rat with this hair like I don't I legitimately do not understand people who can do that regardless I wanted to get this video up for you guys so 
I, um, yeah. Also, that's cooking in the background, just in case you were wondering, that's, that's stuff cooking. Um, so for, um, as for makeup, I have not worn, oh, I think one of my things is on the floor. <laughs> Cats. <laughs> um, so my two makeup items that I have been absolutely loving in the month of January is the e.l.f. smudge pot in Cruise and Chic. This is kind of like a, um, it reminds me of Dad to the Bronze by, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Let me see if I can angle it into the light a little bit. I don't know how good that was. Um, this, um, it really reminds me of kind of like a slightly lighter version of Dad the Bronze by Maybelline. Um, and I actually found out about the smudge pots through a, um, a vegan blog. So... I believe that that's um, VCF. This next thing is definitely VCF. It's even on the um, Wet n Wild website. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. This is not the waterproof version. The waterproof version is not um, uh, vegan. It has beeswax in it. Um, but I love, love, love this mascara. This mascara is a great VCF affordable dupe for the Elizabeth Arden... Um, no, I always mix those up. The Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout Mascara, I was using that before um, I went vegan cruelty free and um, it, this basically just spreads your lashes and lengthens them and it makes them look so like fluttery and wispy. I absolutely love it. Um, so definitely, and I find, I don't think you like it crumbles at all. It is kind of like a wet formula. So if you don't like a wet formula, you might want to stay away from this, but I just find it really, really nice. So, um, oh, I have another makeup thing. So this is the Cover FX Custom Blot Drops. My T-zone is very, very oily. The rest of my face is very dry. So finding a foundation that really fits all of that is very hard. So what I do is I use my pore filler um, on my nose and chin area. And then I put this on my T-zone where I feel like I need it. And then I'll put my foundation on once this completely dries. And it makes my makeup look, number one, so good. I don't know how, because it's not like a pore filling thing, but it just makes my makeup glide over those areas. It makes it look so like flawless and poreless and beautiful. I absolutely love it. So highly recommend this. So the um, next couple of things have really, really, really rescued my skin. My skin was really, really bad all through... Um, pretty much kind of like from October to December and then January I really upped my skincare game and uh, I've been using these products and I think that these products have really 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 saved my skin. So I have two oils to talk about. Um, one of them is just rose hip oil. This is cold pressed rose hip oil. My aunt actually got this for me um, from the States and sent it to me because I was unable to find an affordable um, bottle of it here. And then this is the Body Shop Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Facial Oil. This has rosehip oil in it, but it also has a ton, like a bajillion different oils in here. These two oils I will use after, not together, but one or the other. I normally use the Oils of Life to put into my makeup, my really mattifying makeup, to help it um, be a little bit more of a satin finish instead of a matte finish. Um, but I will also use this and, you know, if it's out, I'll just use it after a mask, but I try and use the rose hip oil and I feel like it's helped with the discoloration in my skin. I have very pink cheeks to begin with, um, but just with the discoloration and hyperpigmentation around my acne spots and stuff like that, um, and some of the scars from my acne spots, I, these oils have just helped so much. They are so lovely. I love them both. And this packaging might look familiar to you because I actually have, this is my original bottle of Youth of Drop, the Drops of Youth Concentrate. This is my brand new bottle. I don't think I can ever live without this again. This has changed my skin for the better. There are spots in my skin where I feel they literally look softer. My pores look smaller. I absolutely love this. So it's just, hands down in my book the drops of youth concentrate is a must-have 
The next thing that really helped my skin is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. I'm not going to go on and on about this because pretty much everybody knows about this. But basically for me especially, if I go and if I get an under the skin pimple or I get a pimple that is just about to like come up to the skin and become a white head, I'll put this on it and I'll sleep with it overnight and it helps so, so much. You know, it's not a miracle product by any means. You know, you still might have a breakout there, but for me, it helps so much and I absolutely love this. Something that has saved my lips this winter, Ultra Balm from Lush. I absolutely love this. It is super simple. It smells like plants. It tastes like plants. It looks like plants. No, it actually just looks yellow, but um, I... I just love this. It is so good. It is so nourishing on the lips and uh, it's just, it's perfect for me. I am out in the cold pretty much. I, I'm out in the cold five days a week. Um, so this just helps and um, I'm going to see if I can get it in a tube because I don't like putting my fingers into it because I drive a school bus and I filled with like little walking Petri dishes. <laughs> but um I, I just absolutely love this. Morning, noon, night, all the time. Love this. The um, next couple of things are body care things, I guess. This is um, the I Love Juicy Shampoo from Lush. I'm not going to go too much into this because I do want to do like a hygiene routine, um, but I love the shampoo. This is probably the best shampoo I have ever used. It is a clarifying shampoo. So if you have really, really dry hair and you don't use a heavy mask afterwards or like a really revitalizing conditioner, it can dry your hair out. But for me, I have very oily hair and really dry end ends. So I wash my hair with this. It really gets out all the dry shampoo, the texturizing spray, whatever I've put in there, hairspray. And then um, at the end of my shower, I use a mask on the bottom part of my hair and it really helps. This smells good. It smells like Skittles in my opinion, and um, it's beautiful. I love this. Well, that was interesting. We just went for a little, a little dip. Anyway, so the next thing is the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Cream Shave. This is in um, Aloe Mint and it is Leaping Bunny certified, and it is so, so good. A little bit goes a long way, and I didn't realize that the first time I used it, and I was like, oh, <laughs> there's so much of it. Um, it doesn't foam like a normal shave gel does. It just, it stays very silky on your skin. It doesn't clog up the razor, and um, it just provides a really thin coat of, I guess, lubrication for your razor to slide through. It's so good and I, for me, normally my shave lasts for about two to three days and then um, I start getting stubble. I'm on day five of after using this and I am just getting stubble now. So I really feel like this kind of lengthened the length of my shave if you, if that can happen. Um, this is also for normal or combination skin and it's hypoallergenic. I have very, very, very sensitive skin. So getting something that is for sensitive skin or hypoallergenic is a must. The next item is some toothpaste. This is the Green Beaver Company Natural Spearmint Toothpaste. It is gluten-free, vegan, sodium, laurel, sulfate-free, and fluoride-free. This is a 75 ml tube. It was about six bucks. I got it at Terra 20 and um, it's good. I like it. It hasn't, um, you know, exponentially whitened my teeth at all, but it also hasn't made my teeth more yellow. It's not like a sensitive toothpaste where sometimes they, when they're strengthening their, your teeth, it kind of make, makes it yellow because like the enamel's building up and stuff like that. Um, but, um, I basically, I use this in conjunction with a mouthwash that I'm still testing out right now. I'm still trying to figure out if I really like it or not. Um, but I really, really like this toothpaste and, um, it's very, very, very hard, almost impossible to find a vegan cruelty-free toothpaste in the grocery store. So I got this from Terra 20 and um, I think it was a really good purchase. And I'm the only one who uses it, so it's going to last a while. The next thing that goes along with this is the Radius Mint Floss. This is 100% vegan, Leaping Bunny certified, etc., etc. Um, I got this at Terra 20 as well. It's a good, good floss. I know floss is kind of like, okay, it's floss. 
but this is actually a really 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 great floss i feel like it's really kind of because of the wax that it has on it, it really glides between my teeth i have some teeth that are very very shoved together and it's hard to floss between them but with this i've actually been flossing more than i was before because it's actually a lot easier to floss because of the wax that it has on it and um yeah i like the minty kind of fresh tingle it leaves after i floss and um i think it's really really good and it's very strong it doesn't break the next item i actually got from my best friend for christmas this is the body shop british rose petal soft bath foam with essence of hand-picked roses from britain it has a little bit of like an opalescence to it almost like a sheen to it it's not glittery or anything like that but it makes the bubble smell so good it makes your bath feel really really soft and i love the way that my skin smells and feels after i use this and i get out of the bath this year, I'm really trying to take more baths to basically just take the time to relax and have like a little bit of time. So about once or twice a month this month, I've used this and every time I use this, I really like it and a little bit goes a long way. So I like that about it too. The last thing I have to say is my favorite thing out of all of the products that I have shown you. This is the Schmitz Rose and Vanilla Natural Deodorant. This is the little travel size one and I am out of it now. I am like, of, if you can hit pan on deodorant, I've hit pan. I'm gonna have to start digging in there with my fingers, I think, um, because it literally like will not go up anymore. Uh, um, but this is Leaping Bunny certified. I have tried tons and tons and tons of natural deodorants i've tried i think it's called la vanilla or something like that or la vanille from sephora um the one that has like the damask packaging on it um i have tried tom's just from the grocery store i've tried the unscented one the clean powder fresh one the lavender one the fresh spring one i have tried um the salt deodorant like rubbing a stick of salt under your armpits. I've tried Cert and Dry and most of them what I found is they either keep the body odor at bay or they keep the sweat at bay and they don't do both at the same time and for me that is a must because I'm a very sweaty very smelly person unfortunately. Welcome to my life. Um, and this definitely definitely helps. I used to use the Secret Clinical Strength before and uh, I find that this is the closest that comes to it. Not in scent, the scent is so much nicer. It's rose, but like with a little bit of a sweetness from the vanilla in it, it smells amazing. But it's, uh, more importantly, I feel like it really helps with um, keeping the odor at bay, but also I don't sweat as much as if I wasn't wearing deodorant. Um, so I really appreciate that. The um, next thing is a video game. My favorite video game of the month is Dragon Age Inquisition. Holy crap, this is an amazing, amazing game. The graphics are beautiful. The voice actors are just flawless. The characters are really fun. The missions are really fun. I like the things to do. I like that it's sort of open world, sort of not. It's just... I just, I love it. I really, I just love it. It's great. And uh, I highly suggest that if you've not picked up any of the Dragon Age games, perhaps start with Origins and play through them. That's what um, my husband and I did. And we have been loving every minute of it because there's a lot of references in 3 and 2, 1 and 2. But um, if you haven't, if you just want to pick up the new newest game, then just go for it. This game is so, so good. It just mixes all of the great things about the previous games. The combat is a lot better. Um, it more resembles the second game, but the talking and communication with your colleagues and your party members is more like the first game, like lots and lots and lots of communication. Um, and there's a lot of collectibles, but there's also a lot of like really cool missions and the overall story is really interesting. Um, it definitely plays off of um, a lot of the, uh, um, the DLCs and expansions and stuff like that. So make sure that if you are one of those people that you want to play through everything, then 
definitely go and start with Origins. Get the DLCs, get the expansions, get the add-ons for Origins N2 and this. And they're just, they're amazing. I cannot wait to finish this game. It is so, so good. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep dropping you. It's nothing personal, I promise. I promise. So the last item is Kingsport Festival. Um, this is my favorite game for the month. I played it with my friends, um, and it was so so fun. If you've ever played the Lords of Waterdeep, it's kind of like that. Basically in it, you are cult members trying to take over Kingsport, um, which is an HP Lovecraftian town, um, I believe in Massachusetts. And uh, you have to roll dice, allocate your dice in order to um, gain the favor of the gods who then give you certain resources or spells um, so that not only can you fight the investigators who frequently raid, but you can also um, take over portions of town through taking portions over portions of town. You also gain points and that's ultimately how you win is by amassing the most points in the end of 12 rounds. So it's, um, it's very, very good. At first the rules are a little bit finicky, but overall I found this game to be so fun. My friends and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I highly suggest that if you have a group of three to five people that you go and check this game out. It's super good. So aside from dropping you twice, I'm, I really am sorry about that. It was sorry. But aside from that, I think that this went pretty good. And um, I am excited to get this video up for you guys. Just going to get it up, post it right now. I'm going to go finish cooking my lunch. And I hope that you like this. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you check the description boxes of some of my other videos so that you can um, see my frequently asked questions, all of my links to my social media, stuff like that. And I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video.